I think it's good that the UK is leading the way and doing, uh, being quite innovative in this and encouraging investment. But I find it quite interesting that HMRC are currently looking into research and development claims whilst actually encouraging research and development claims for this sort of thing. Because they really are looking into them in quite a lot of detail. So, you know, it's, um, it's been an interesting budget in some ways. I mean, the R&D um, sort of incentives have been around for a long time. Um, we are or have seen or are about to see a bigger change in, in HMRC's attitude to that. So it's getting more robust in terms of what you can claim. I don't think that's really going to change the clients that we've got and, and their ability to claim R&D, but it is meaning more work and more fees for us to be able to claim that. So they're making it harder to, to claim. As far as R&D is concerned, I think it's important that we try and educate our clients as best as possible um, to let them know what the new changes are and how it can benefit them. Uh, and try and make sure that there's maximum exposure to those clients that's going to be relevant for. That way, we can make sure that everybody that can benefit does benefit. I think that's the important message to take from this.